Welcome to Pro Fabrication. Uh, you're here today. I wanted to go over a few things about how to build a header and what kind of components to use and what the differences are in the materials that we select, why we select them, and uh, how they uh, apply to the fabricator. So when you uh, pick a flange, uh, deciding what flange you want to use to assemble your header, you have the choice of individual flanges or a one-piece flange. The one-piece flange makes it very easy to take on and off the vehicle. Uh, you would pick this, I, I would pick this 90% of the time. The advantage of an individual flange is you may have a roll bar, you may have something in the way that you actually have to separate the header out and take the header apart to uh, get it in or out of the vehicle. So those are some choices that you'll have to make when you're uh, picking the flange uh, for the application. Some of the other things uh, that you're going to pick is you're going to pick the type of material that you're going to use. Are you going to use a stainless flange? If you're building a stainless header, you probably want to pick a stainless flange. Your other choice would be a mild steel flange. Uh, this would be a cold roll flange. We always use a minimum 3 8 thick flange in most of our applications. Some of the applications uh, will pick a half inch thick flange. Uh, half inch thick flange is uh, great for street use where you don't want to have any leaks. Uh, the other good application for a half inch thick flange is a turbo application where you've got uh, excessive amount of heat and or uh, a lot of weight hanging on the, on, the, uh, on the header. The other choice that you will have is a machined billet type flange of which, which is the majority of what we have laid out here today. The other choice you would have would be a laser cut flange. Now the ad ad advantage of a machine flange over a laser cut flange is going to be uh, the cleanliness of weld. When you're welding uh, a laser cut flange to the tube, uh, it does not weld nearly as well as a machine billet flange. You just don't have that hard surface. Uh, that's uh, associated with uh, laser laser cut. So we prefer to use a uh, billet flange. Um, you've got to what what we are talking about here mostly today are custom built headers. When you're custom building a header, these are some of the choices and some of the decisions that you need to make uh, before starting or before ordering and calling us or any other vendor that you may buy stuff from. Um, when you're building a custom, a custom header, the majority of your cost is going to be in the labor to put this together. If you're building a custom header, my preference would always be to build it in stainless. You're going to get better life, you're going to get better performance, uh, and in the, in the end, uh, you're going to have a product that is durable and long-lasting. So either you're going to, if you want to do it in mild steel, it may last a year, two years, five years, depending on the application, where the stainless header is going to, in some applications, such as a street rod, is going to last a lifetime, or the lifetime of the vehicle. Or in racing applications, uh, you can get double or triple the life compared to a mild steel header. So we've been talking about flanges here for a little bit and the uh, applications and what to use and when and why. Um, this is another type of flange. Uh, this is a billet flange and you can see it's got the same as port or port match on the one side of the that's going to bolt up to your cylinder head and then you've got the round side where you're going to put your tube. Uh, this is a, a very nice flange to use. It will save you uh, time and labor. Uh, if you were to stick this thing through and try to port match a round tube and form it into that oval, it will take you time. Uh, you will stretch out the material. Uh, this will have a better flow because you're making that transition over a longer period. Uh, this is a very nice flange. This is used on a uh, Porsche header that we built uh, for a 997 and a 991. This flange, uh, we did a lot the same. Uh, we used this on the Pro Extreme uh, cars for a BAE cylinder head, uh, MBE cylinder head, um, quite a few uh, different applications here, Allen Johnson, 
uh, Noonan cylinder head, etc. Uh, now what we did here is the same thing. We have the same as port right here on this side and then we machined it to where it's round on the other side. Uh, so we have a butt connection and what you're going to do here is you're actually going to butt the tube up and you're going to get a butt connection. So you're going to see when you weld this around the outside, you're going to see the weld on the inside as well. This creates a much stronger bond and a much stronger weld uh, uh, connecting the tube to the flange on that header. Here you can see the final result uh, of that typical Noonan uh, BAE MBE cylinder head uh, application for uh, blower type uh, M, uh, Pro Extreme. Uh, one of the additional features that we did on this header is we put an O-ring groove. So they can put an O-ring so you don't need to run a gasket. That's another added benefit. But you can see here it's the same as poured on the one side and then we have the round connection on the other and if you look in here this is a used header so it's not the cleanliest header but you can see here where the weld comes a hundred percent through so as a fabricator when you're welding these headers uh, you want to see a hundred percent penetration all the way through 360 degrees all the way around some of the other components that you see here are EGTs, you see uh, blower restraints, you see some of our bracing that we incorporate into our uh, zoomies. Uh, we use this type of bracing here uh, because we are using as thin a material for the application that we can to give the customer the uh, lightest header that we can create. Uh, but along with that co comes the ne necessity to support that header. So what we're doing is this is a, about how it would be bolted in the car. These rods would then go up to the upper strut bar and be sus suspended and uh, help take some of that load off this header. If you run these headers without being suspended, the risk of cracking and failure up here is great. Uh, and uh, the additional uh, torque uh, out here will start to tear these apart. The typical uh, uh, header like this should last about a season. Um, if you're getting uh, more, much more than one season out of these headers, uh, then you're doing very, very well. But our goal here is to give a customer a header in this uh, arena, uh, something that they can have for at least one season. So I wanted to go over the uh, array of flanges that we have here and show you what the applications are and uh, touch on some of the uh, distinct things that are different between our flanges and maybe somebody else's or how they're uh, welded or how they're used uh, as you build a custom header. So this, uh, this is a mild steel flange, cold roll. Um, nothing super fancy about it, but it is machined. Um, this flange is for an 18 degree uh, cylinder head, uh, typically used in cup uh, and dirt car applications. This is uh, a small block Chevy uh, flange. This flange in particular is for a crate engine. Uh, we also have this same basic flange for a standard small block Chevy. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that we do a skim cut right here on the top surface to eliminate any of the scaling. This makes uh, welding much easier and much nicer. Here on this side is still the raw material stock. We don't skim cut on this side. But one of the features that I'd like to point out to you on here is that we put a little bit of a bevel on the back side of the flange you're going to stick your flange through this flange, stick your tube, we're going to stick your tube through this flange. When you do that, in, in a small block Chevy, you've got a narrow section right here. You cannot weld all the way around on this side because you've got two tubes sticking through. So the only place that you can weld uh, 360 all the way around this tube is on the cylinder head surface. So, with this bevel, right here you can uh, your weld will not be ground away when you finish this header you'll actually still have some weld 
uh, to hold that tube in. But you must weld all the way around on this side. This is our LS uh, Chevy flange. This in particular is the half inch thick version. We also have a 3 8 thick version. We have these available in stainless and mild steel. This is a Sunny's uh, Musi flange. Uh, this is used for a 5 3 uh, bore space. Uh, big, big inch, cubic inch, anywhere anywhere from 700 plus cubic inches up to 900 plus cubic inches. Uh, we did make a, a copper gasket for this application. And you can see it 100% matches the uh, outside and inside This uh, will fit a Duratec Ford engine, Ford slash Mazda. These engines are used a lot in road racing. Uh, this would be a, uh, so, so you can see we've lightened and removed some material there on this flange. And you can note back here to the small block Chevy flange, we've lightened and taken and removed as much material as possible. Same with this application for this, uh, for the Musi Sunny's flange. Uh, we, weight is important for some customers and some applications. Aesthetically, uh, if you're a street rod person or something, not only is that light, but it also looks very good. The laser cut flange that uh, we utilize is used in the motorcycle application. And what we have done is we have machined a part that will go up inside the cylinder head. This is a butt connection, uh, just like some of our other applications. So you, when you weld this on, you want to see the weld on the inside. And so we simply use a snap ring here, and the cylinder head would have either uh, studs or some bolts to go through this flange, and then that would push it up into the cylinder head and seal that off. So that's the way that this laser cut flange uh, works. If you have any additional questions on flanges and any other components you may need to build your custom header, please give us a call at 704-795-7563. Please take a look at our website for any other parts you may need, and that is profabrication.com.